When it comes to ancient Greek gods and goddesses, the sea deities were a major part of it. The ocean nymphs were quite popular among them. These ocean nymphs were called as oceanids or oceanides. Oceanids were minor sea deities expanding all over the sea as they were regarded as innumerable. These nymphs were the daughters of the titans Oceanus and Tethys. They were 3000 in numbers and just like them, their brothers known as Potomoi were also 3000. Like the rest of their family, most of the oceanids were also associated with water, though it was not always necessarily the case. Few of these ocean nymphs personified quite different roles in the stories. One such nymph was Metis, the goddess of wisdom and craft. She was the wife of Zeus and by him the mother of goddess Athena. And the oceanid nymph Styx was a personification of underworld's major river named Styx. Just like Metis, the oceanids also functioned as the wives or lovers of many gods and mothers of many gods and goddesses. Doris was the wife of the sea god Nereus and the mother of the 50 sea nymphs called as Nerites. The oceanid Styx was the wife of the titan Pallas and the mother of Zealus, Nike, Kratos and Bea. The oceanid Clemony was the wife of the titan Iapetus, etc. The sailors of the ancient world routinely honored and entreated the oceanids. They dedicated prayers, libations and sacrifices to them. Appeals to them were made to protect seafarers from storms and other hazards and obstacles. The oceanid nymphs were also known to keep company of the goddess Persephone when she was abducted by the god Hades, the king of the underworld. They helped the trembled Persephone and helped her overcome her fear and anxiety of the underworld. The oceanids were such interesting creatures of the Greek mythology. They played crucial part in many myths. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.